Tampa Bay Buccaneers just beat the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship, securing our spot in the Super Bowl. So as you can see by the flag and by my jersey, I am a huge Bucks fan. This is a huge win for me. Before I get into the video, though, I just want to say you're probably going to hear some loud noises that sound like gunshots. I assure you they are not gunshots. There's fireworks going around. I live in Tampa, so there are a ton of people celebrating. It has been such a long time. I have not been alive the last time we were in the Super Bowl. But this is huge for us. We just, as, as a five seed, we made the Super Bowl. As a wild card team, that was a five seed. We we had a very tough road to get here after we beat the New Orleans Saints and now the Green Bay Packers, but this game we played pretty well. Now, there are a couple times where we did get sloppy and there are a couple things that we did get away with. And today I'm going to be breaking down how we won this game, the things that we did well, and also reacting to it, just my reaction and uh, looking ahead to the next week. So, next week we are going to be playing in the Super Bowl. That is actually um, going to be at home in Tampa. That is the first time this has ever happened. The tickets are going to be through the roof to buy, especially because we're a home team and it's also a limited capacity in Raymond James Stadium. I am going to be going to the uh, Fan Fest next week. It's downtown for the Super Bowl. And as a home team, uh, it's going to be packed with Bucks fans. So I am going to be vlogging that for you guys. Um, that'll probably be releasing probably Thursday or Friday. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. But this was a huge win for us. So there's a couple things we're going to do. We did well that I want to break down. The first thing is that our defense has been incredible this game. Although they did allow um, 26 points, which is a little bit higher, it was a fantastic offense that they were playing against. The Green Bay Packers have amazing weapons. Another thing they did was just absolutely, like, they put so much pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers was hurried pretty much every play. We sacked him, like, five or six times. Instantly, we were after him. Shaq Barrett, JPP, they both had amazing games, and that just kept us in the game. Todd Bowles, the defensive coordinator, is one of the best in the league, no doubt. He completely clamped up on an incredible offense. He made Aaron Rodgers look like a very amateur quarterback. Another thing we did well is that they were on the field a lot. Um, our defense was unfortunately having to be on the field very frequently in that second half because Tom Brady was getting very, very sloppy. And somehow we still managed to stop them every time we gave him the ball back. But he was throwing, he threw three interceptions in that game. That's not typical for a quarterback of his caliber. However, our defense did uh, stand, uh, stand up to that. And we did end up getting a, a win. Another thing we got away with, though, was that decision to kick the field goal instead of scoring the touchdown, uh, or their decision to kick the field goal instead of scoring the touchdown. I really questioned that because they gave us the ball back with two minutes to go. They did have a lot of timeouts and the two-minute warning on their side. However, this is just a thing that I think you really have to just risk it and try to get that uh, try to get that extra or, or like get that touchdown and the two-point conversion because because they didn't do that they didn't get their hands back on the football and they weren't able to win obviously Tom is going to be um, playing his 10th Super Bowl the other thing that came through for us was his ability to play in the cold and his playoff experience because it was very very cold there today we didn't have any snow during the game but there was some snow lined up against the sides of Lambeau Stadium you could tell it been snowing very very recently however although it was cold our defense still played amazing which I did not expect because pretty much our defense are all Florida guys and Tom Brady does have experience in the cold and he played very very well outside of those three interceptions he did miss a couple of throws but ended up not mattering another thing we did well was also our offensive line it was very very disciplined often our offensive line gets completely out of hand and we just go crazy with penalties that did not happen today our offensive line we had one penalty and it was not on the offensive line it was Carlton Davis helmet to helmet hit but that was huge for us to not have to be penalized at all because it kept it that meant the clock keeps rolling that also meant that we were very very clean in our play we did not lose any yards due to penalties and that was just incredible for us the last thing that i'm going to highlight is the very good receiver play although the the I mean, it's very cold outside, so the ball is going to be different than what we experienced in Tampa. The hands are going to feel a lot harder. It's going to happen. But we still only had a couple of drops, although we're not really used to this environment. Played extremely well, and we were playing against some loud fans. There was only 8,500 fans there, but they gave them sides, and they were hitting those, and that was getting very, very, very loud. And that's tough to play in, especially at Lambeau Field when the fans are absolutely amazing. But we did take them down. Now, a thing that we did not do well. One is that we were just not stopping the running game multiple times. Even though it was not Aaron Jones, they would just run straight through our defense and make our defense look terrible. This was huge for us, though, when we did get those stops because the clock kept rolling. And really, that's what ultimately matters is that the Green Bay Packers were playing the clock at the end. The momentum was on their side, but we were able to put together enough first downs to manage to win the game. Now, I am so, so excited for the Super Bowl. At the time that I am recording this video, I don't know who's going to be playing in the Super Bowl against us. It's either going to be the Kansas City Chiefs or the Buffalo Bills. I like our odds against either team just because we are beating a lot of great teams. We're the underdogs in every single game we've played pretty much besides the Washington game. And these playoffs as a five seed, we really shouldn't have beaten the New Orleans Saints. We really, I mean, we, we played enough, well enough to win, but really no one was
was expecting that. I was not expecting that. I bet against us, and I just did that again for the Packers, basically mainly because of the the environment that we'd be in between playing Lambeau with those great fans and the Colts. We still came out clutch though, and we still get did get that win. Huge win for us, and I'm so excited to see us play in the Super Bowl next week. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 200 